tracing our hands and make it into a zebra, okay? So I need you to put your hand on your paper and put your pinky, put your pinky finger out just a little bit. Not too much, not too much, just a little bit, all right? So I'm gonna trace around my hand. Watch me do it first. Trace around my hand. And it looks like I have a mitten on or something. And then you go all the way off, all the way off. And I'm gonna turn my paper like this. This is going to be our zebra's mouth this way. So we started like this. And when we finish tracing, we're going to turn it horizontal. Give me thumbs up when you're ready. All right, so I'm gonna start with the teeth. So I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna go down a little vertical line and then back to this corner where our fingers met. And I'm gonna do the same thing up here. He's like, I don't know what, what, who, I don't know what <laughs> zebras say. We're gonna put a little curve right here for his nostril. And then we're gonna put a curve line like this. Give me thumbs up. Oh, thank you, I have one. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, the next part we're going to do, we're gonna do his eye. It's gonna go right here. See where your thumb touched your hand? It's gonna go right here. I'm gonna, first I'm gonna draw a circle with a little circle in it for the light of his eye. I'm gonna color that in. And then I'm gonna put a line over it. So I did the circle and then I did the line. Next I'm gonna do another circle for the where the color goes give me a thumbs up when you're ready one two three four five six thank you seven all right I'm gonna do um the main or the, like, the hair that looks like a mohawk. So it's gonna start here, and I'm gonna do a diagonal line, and then zigzag, zigzag. I don't have enough paper, but I'm gonna imagine it going all the way, and then this way. Doesn't have to be like a straight zigzag. Now zebras have stripes in the mane of their hair as well. So we can do stripes in there. We'll do that in just a minute. This is gonna be the ear. So you can put a little um, thing in there to, for the ear.
That's my whole paper. All we need to do is add some stripes. This is gonna be colored in gray, and then we're gonna do stripes for the zebra. The stripes don't have to match mine exactly. I like to do mine where they don't go all the way across, but some people put theirs all the way across. I'm okay with that. So you're gonna do stripes for your zebra, and don't forget to do stripes in the mane. I'm gonna start coloring. I'm gonna color with my like, you know, my cool HEB markers because they can cover more space than the Sharpie can. So my little stripes I'm gonna color in black. 